Hey there, uh, Larry Mednick with Evolution Trikes. Yeah. And I am standing in front of our uh, Revolt. This is the uh, best-selling trike in America, and uh, it's been very, very popular. We've got, uh, of course, really big tires, really, really big seating. Wow. And uh, we've got an incredible propeller to thrust this into the air very, very quickly. <laughs> wow. It Pull this cover off of here. Yep. It's a French propeller. Yes. Yes. And so this is the new titanium leading edge uh, blades that are on this. And uh, this particular one, um, we buy just the blades and we actually have an in-house uh, propeller hub that we manufacture ourselves. And uh, we just did this uh, to kind of fit some of the uh, other features of the aircraft, the way it's uh, constructed. We thought a, a really robust CNC hub would match the axle carriers or the, uh, the hang block assembly, just keeping it consistent. Yeah. But we also uh, sell many, many of the complete uh, propellers with the carbon fiber hubs, which are actually a lot lighter. And uh, we've got a couple of good examples here, uh, all the different models, the E-props that we use on uh, all of our models. But it was pretty interesting. We uh, started off, I don't even know how many years ago, and uh, we had a request. This is before the GoPros actually got stabilized. So the vibration of the propeller really showed up on a famous videographer, Henry Trikelife. And um, when the propeller would make vibration, if you zoomed out to watch on a big screen TV, you had the vibration. And so he purchased a new Revo, uh, Revo and said, you know, listen, if we could get the vibration down, that would be really helpful. So I'd heard about E-Props. I heard about them being very, very smooth, but I didn't know. So uh, we got in the E-Prop, and it was really for Henry's plane. And uh, we liked it so much, we told Henry we'd put it on. As soon as we got back from Oshkosh, we flew that E-Prop all the way to Oshkosh and okay. back 2,500 miles. The owner of that Revo fell in love with it, so we ordered a couple more sets of props. Got Henry his, and his video was beautiful. It was smooth. Uh, we were blown away by the propeller, and then uh, slowly but surely, we've integrated the E-Props as basically our prop for Evolution trikes on every model from our Polini-powered ultralight up to our 100 horsepower, our 582 power, uh, it's all e-props and uh, we've had amazing results. So he was the one I can say was responsible for us searching out to find a better propeller. We were using a locally made, very popular, very good propeller, uh, but the vibration was just there. It had a lot of mass and uh, we were using a two blade prop. So a pusher two blade, of course, you're gonna have a lot more vibration anyway. But uh, you know, the amazing thing about these blades, besides that they're so light, is they have this flex to them. Yeah. And I uh, then realized how important it is that a, uh, a blade with a little bit of flex really makes a big difference in uh, the amount of vibration that's coming back. So we literally had certain customers were breaking exhaust, cracking exhaust, and uh, they'd weld up the exhaust, it'd crack again later, and we were beefing up the exhaust system. Well, then we changed the propeller, no more broken exhausts. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. How many? Uh, uh, propellers you sell in the U.S.? Uh, we sold certainly uh, a couple hundred, something like that. Okay. And uh, the results, you know, everybody is really raved about uh, the propellers. The other thing that's worth mentioning is we used to have to replace like the Sprag clutch on the 100 horsepower engines around 700 hours. Now, no more. So the Sprag clutches, the gearboxes are really not needing any shims at the 600 hour mark with these propellers. So not only are they smooth, but they start so smooth and they shut down smooth and we're saving a lot of money on maintenance. Yeah. And so a lot of people, you know, they don't really need more performance, but they want less maintenance costs. This is a great way to cut down on the maintenance of the, uh, the engine.